day four, biggest task of the day was to clear out that center portion of the property. I spent a lot of the time clearing out the shop vac of all the nonsense. I was getting stuck in the hose itself. Uh, I did a pretty good job overall, pretty much done with the center portion for now. There's that Folgers can. Something's been coming in and out of there. Got rid of a lot of the shelving that was sitting in the center portion here. It was basically just wood and some aluminum pieces holding it up. After I got rid of the shelving, I took some time and tried to remove that drill press. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated, uh, but here's how I did it. So right now I'm trying to get this uh, drill press off of the table here so I can get rid of the table or the countertop or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I didn't bring any tools with me at all. That noise is freaking me out too. Um, I didn't bring any tools with me. So I just figured, you know, probably find something around here. Um, first I went for, there's a socket wrench here. It's kind of small. That one doesn't fit. Uh, I found this uh, fixed wrench. A little too big on both ends. Doesn't fit. But I found this wonderful one and a half foot long socket wrench. I already had these. So I guess I didn't totally not bring tools, but my dad let me borrow this. Uh, channel locks. And what do you know? This ridiculously sized Allen wrench actually fits. So I'll take my channel locks on the bottom, socket wrench on top. After I removed the baseboard from this countertop, I took a hammer and a crowbar and started to chip away at the countertop and the rest of the stuff that was on it. it took me a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it's removed and uh, I'll show you guys some pictures of it tomorrow.